Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new steam mop from Shark, the Shark Steam and Scrub. Currently this product stands out as pretty unique in its category. Using only water and no chemicals, the Shark steam cleans flooring and scrubs them using sets of soft reusable mop pads. This extra agitation allows the Shark to clean hard floors much faster and better than conventional department store steam mops. Most steam mops you have to slowly push back and forth and you're doing all the work as it disinfects the floors. The Shark does the scrubbing for you and does a better job. Today I'm going to go over how to set the machine up and I'll demonstrate it on my flooring. I'll also go over what I like and dislike about this Shark. Shark currently sells the steam and scrub in two versions. This is the more deluxe version which features an extra cleaning mode and LED headlights. This model came with two sets of reusable pads and extras can be purchased from Shark. With the mop pads attached, the Shark's cleaning path is generous at over 14 inches wide and the sides of the steam mop are low profile. Similar to the Bissell Spin Wave, the way the pads stick out allow for great edge cleaning and because the sides of the cleaner are low profile, it can easily get under cabinets and certain appliances. The Shark Steam and Scrub came with two sets of washable mop pads. They connect in a Velcro-like manner, and they're very easy to attach and remove. One nice feature is that they self-center when you put them on. The Shark won't let you install them wrong, which I really like. One annoying feature of the machine is that the water tank isn't removable, so it comes with a small cup that you fill up. I use filtered water for steam mops. Open the cap at the top of the tank and add the water. One full cup almost reaches the max fill line. After using it several times, I've also found the water tank to be too small, and it requires frequent refilling. The controls are simple. There's a mode select button which turns it on, and it adjusts between light, normal, and deep cleaning modes. Before mopping the floors, you want to first thoroughly vacuum them. Today I used a Panasonic Arm 1100 stick vac that I believe is from the 1980s. Although corded, the stick vac design is very similar to many cordless vacuums sold today, and it does a great job on hard floors. You want to get as much loose dirt off the floor as you can, so I made sure to clean under the cabinets and along the edges. To give a visual idea of how the machine cleans, I put down a bunch of soy sauce and let it dry and get stuck onto the floor. Once you select a cleaning mode, the Shark takes about a minute to get up to steam, but you can start using it while it's warming up. The Shark is very lightweight and easy to use, and almost feels like it's hovering around on the floor. Thanks to the scrubbing action, it cuts through stuck on dirt very fast for what it is. Because that was such a large mess, I installed a fresh set of cleaning pads, added more water, and went over the floors a second time. Normally this wouldn't be necessary, but the second round of cleaning still found some stuck on soy sauce. Here's a look at both sets of pads after cleaning the floor. Because of the soy sauce, the first set of pads are disgusting. The second set of pads aren't as bad, but they still found some leftover dirt. When I first got the machine, I ran it across my floors as normal to test it, and here are the pads after I was done. Because it can scrub, you really do get impressive results out of it. And that's without using any cleaning chemicals at all, just water. Another great feature is that the pads are machine washable. I do a pre-wash soak with OxyClean, then run them through the normal wash cycle with detergent. They come out very clean and can be put right back to use. At this point, while the floors were clean, the shark stripped off the floor polish and the floors looked dull. This is a part of the product that I think is disappointing. To finish my flooring, I like to polish them as it gives them a long-lasting shine and protects the flooring. Sadly, despite basically being a floor polisher, the Shark cannot polish the floors. I looked in the manual and it states as a warning to not run the machine without water, and you can't have the pads just scrub the floor without steam. To me, this is a huge oversight. To finish the floors, I put down Pledge Revive It Floor Gloss and using another steam mop that can buff the floors, finish the job.
Unfortunately, to my surprise, the floors looked pretty bad the next day after this test. The soy sauce mixed with the steam left a chalky residue all over the entire floor, so I had to re-clean them. I was initially worried the steam mop had damaged the floor, but I was wrong. After steam mopping the floors one last time, I polished the floors again using a different product. This time I used Holloway House Quick Shine Floor Finish. A friend recommended this product to me a while back, and this is my first time using it. This worked a lot better than the pledge I was using before, so this will be my go-to from now on. The floors came out great, and using the Holloway House floor finish, they look the best they have in years. I was initially worried the steam mop had damaged my laminate floors, but thankfully it didn't. My kitchen floor is already warped and damaged from years of wear, so I'm not worried about using steam mops on it, but keep in mind this product is made for sealed floors only. You do have to be careful using it on this type of flooring, and make sure the machine is always moving. If you let it sit in one spot for too long, it can cause damage. So there you have it. I have mixed feelings about this new product from Shark. It's just a steam cleaner It does a great job, and that's without the use of cleaning chemicals. It cleans a lot faster and better than most steam mops available. And I really appreciate that the machine uses washable and reusable soft pads that are gentle on flooring, but deliver great cleaning performance. It takes a little getting used to, but it's very lightweight to zip around and it's highly maneuverable. It can lay flat to the floor and twist around things easily like a Swiffer and get into tight spaces. Due to its shape, it can't completely get into corners, but its edge cleaning is one of the best from a hard floor cleaner I've used. As far as things I don't like, I would prefer if the water tank was removable to make it a lot easier to prep them out for use, as well as empty it out afterwards. I'm assuming Shark doesn't want users to just leave standing water in the unit between jobs, but emptying out any leftover water is very cumbersome as you have to tip the entire machine over to dump it out. I think I'm more annoyed about the missed potential. They've basically designed a floor polisher that doesn't polish floors it won't safely let you. The machine could easily do it all if you could run the scrubbing pad separately without the use of steam, but you can't. Shark advises against it. So the machine is locked into just being a steam mop when it could easily be the only machine you would need to both disinfect floors, then shine them up afterwards. Using these two machines together, one for cleaning and one for polishing, delivered excellent results, but for most homes that's not practical. The discontinued Han can do both, and that's what makes it great. While I'm impressed, there's room for improvement. I would like to see a model similar to this, but with a longer cord, a much larger removable water tank, and the ability to run just the brushes without the use of steam. Unlike my other Shark Steam Mop, this one doesn't have any kind of hook on the handle to hang it up flat to the wall for storage. I'd rather it have the storage footprint of a broom, which a lot of these floor cleaners do, rather than have it take up floor space between use. Those things aside, it does its main task, cleaning the floors, exceptionally well. I always enjoy reading your comments. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you for watching and have a great day.